Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me Cooper and today we're gonna be riding on in uh, over here. We're gonna go over to this guy and see if we can save uh, Nico. I was supposed to do that last episode. Uh, got a little held up by the Malcolm family and the Ramon family, but this episode I'm running straight over to the secret hideout to see if Nico's okay. And there she is. We're all good. Hey, what's up Nico? You doing all right? Cooper! I was just out for a walk and this tall stranger started yelling at me. I got scared, so I've just been hiding out here the whole time. I'm not scared anymore now that you're here. Yeah, no worries. Let's get going, Nico. I'll get you home. Alright, let's get back to Gramps' place, see if we're gonna be okay. He's probably not even my Gramps, he's probably my dad. My fake dad. Go back to fake dad's place, we gotta make sure that our, uh, our Nico gets back there. I guess that's just a child shit. And who are you? Whoa, Scotch. You actually look like a real character. Wait a minute. Heh <laughs> you look like a pretty weak and helpless little kid. Why don't you get in on the fun here? Get ready to lose. Alright, so let's see how good... This guy actually has a real character model and a freaking, uh... Yeah. Rotten Recycler. Oh god, Recycler. No way. I beat him by a whole second. A Rotten Recycler deck? There's no way there's a scrap deck. No way in hell, right? I'm, I'm fine. Okay, Marauding Captain's a hell of a start. Nateria Cherries is even better. Ancient Gear. That's pretty good. Ancient Gear Beast makes me feel really safe. It won't stop stuff like the Solemn Strike, but it stops a lot of other crap. Now let's play passively to see what my opponent's deck actually is. What are they running? A dark deck. Okay, we're running against a dark deck, which means he's part of the Malcolm family. It's a zombie deck, which means he's definitely part of the Malcolm family. Uh, zombie world! Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, it might be a high-tier zombie deck. Alright, well, as long as I'm face down... Oh, we got a rare card, apparently. I don't know why that card's rare. Oh, its effect is activating. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. This is a real zombie deck, it looks like, but Nature your Cherries are not afraid. They will fight you with everything they've got. Now, I have one problem. Zombie decks turning me into zombie monsters makes me feel uncomfortable. So I have two new Nicheria Cherries. I can use one for tribute if I want to go for a monster that has no uh, weakness to trap cards like Mirror Force, Seven Tools, or any. Or not Seven Tools, sorry. Mirror Force, Sakuretsu Armor, or anything like that. Or I can go for Marauding Captain and just go for a massive amount of monsters. So I have options here. Um, I think what I will go for is. Oh, wait, is this thing stopping me from summoning anything that's not zombie? Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, Zombie World's secondary effect is really annoying. I forgot. So we have to go for Marauding Captain. Marauding Captain's going to use its ability to uh, get more friends on the field. We're going to choose Mechanical Chaser. There we go. Um, I could go for Nature Cherry. It makes me wish I had Armory Armor right now. That'd actually be very nice. Uh, what other cards do I have? One Tuner, one more non-Tuner. That's level 8 monster. Okay. Well... Oh. Honestly, if, I, I, if I'm being honest, I don't even want to go for a Synchro Summon if I don't have to. So, I'm just going to keep the monsters I have now and I'm just going to attack. Two monsters is better than one, apparently. So, let's see. We're going to go ahead and do this much damage. Yeah, I'm going to keep four monsters on the field because I don't know what my opponent plans on doing. He's called the Haunting. Okay. That's fine. Completely fine by me. Nope. Main phase two, because I know zombie dra uh, red eye zombie dragon's a thing, I'm going for Fisher. I am not allowing my opponent to get red eye zombie dragon. That's not part of my not part of my day. I do not want to have to take on one of those with zombie world already on the field. That would make that deck literally god tier. And seeing as I can't tribute summon right now, I need to get MST, which is in my deck now, thanks to that structure deck I bought uh, two days ago. So let's see what this guy plans on doing. Hmm. I'm a little worried, or two episodes ago. Zombie Master, I couldn't stop him from getting special summons off. Now I can see what was in his hand. Because he will throw away something. What card does he throw away, though? That's my question. Pyramid Turtle Scare. He didn't bring back the Pyramid Turtle. That card scares me more than the monster he did throw. Uh, I mean, that he's bringing back. Because all he could do is destroy a cherry, I guess. It's not even that good of a play. And I can get rid of Zombie Master and Shuken, or Shuten Doji. Alright. Book of Life, he got three. He got three monsters. Okay, so he's gonna destroy one cherry. Or he's gonna destroy both my cherries and Marauding Captain. Which means I can no longer go for Synchro, which is fine. 
My monster is already strong enough without it. But the Pyramid Turtle could also just go aggressively and I lose the... I, I mean, go uh, crash and lo I lose the duel that way. I just have to hope the opponent isn't smart enough to do that. If the opponent's AI isn't smart enough to do, to do that, I am still in this duel. If they are smart enough to do that, I'm dead. I don't think I have a chance. Because I could try to wait for Pyramid Turtle to go into defense mode, or if they crash off... Okay, they're not smart enough. If they crashed off Marauding Captain, it would have been it. I would have lost the duel. I, have feel, I, I just feel like I would have lost the duel right there. Thanks to Drillroid, I could try to get rid of Pyramid Turtle by effect, which means it won't be able to special summon the red Eye Zombie Dragon, which I assume he has. This guy Scotch, he seems to actually be a real character. And, um, he's, he, I'll admit, he's intimidating me. He is intimidating. So far, he's destroyed all my best cards, all my defense. I'm glad I, I, I mean, I'm sad I went for four monsters now, instead of just Synchro Summoning, but at the same time, it's okay. It'll have to be. Uh, I just didn't expect him to have all these monsters already. Three monsters in a small amount of time is pretty scary. Limit a removal with two of the machine monsters on the field changes everything. I no longer feel fear. <laughs> I'm being honest with you, I don't feel fear anymore. So we're going to go slow, we're going to get rid of your monster. Yeah, we don't want to let this guy live. There we go, and Scotch, we're going to get rid of your monster that brings back monsters for days. Now we can go for an interesting play. What we could do now is we could set this card, uh, Limited Removal, in case he does go for the Zombie Dragon like we expect. And even though it'll cost me every monster on my side of the field, it will win me the duel in the long run. As long as they don't have any more special summoning cards, not another Book of Life or worse. But we'll see. Pyramid Turtle, if you go into defense mode, you guarantee me a victory next turn. Pretty much. Unless they get a trap card. Trap cards are always scary. But I feel like I have a guaranteed victory. Battle phase. Okay, so they, they, their AI is smart enough to do it, but only when it's the last option. Okay. That's not bad that it's at least smart enough to do it. But I luckily got limited removal at the time I needed it. So let's see what they end up choosing. Rui Koki. That's the... Okay, so they don't run Red Eye Zombie Dragon. If they did, that's the card they would have used. Alright, apparently I'm not allowed to activate limited removal because it had didn't give me a chance to activate it. But I guess that's okay, because I don't really care. I'll just use it next. Oh, I'm a, zom I'm, I'm a zombie right now. I forgot. I got my hopes up for nothing. I'm a zombie. I need a tuner monster. That's not a tuner monster. I'm in a little bit of trouble. I keep forgetting how busted that freaking field spell is, and I don't have a card to get rid of the field spell just yet. Okay, so all my hopes and dreams have been dashed, because they still went for the Pyramid Turtle play instead of going into defense mode. Their AI is actually better than, uh, than they thought it would be. So, we're going to have to play defensively, and then we're going to have to hope we get Junk Synchron or something. Though I don't have a good level 2 monster. Maybe Giant Rat. Giant Rat would help out a lot. If I could pull Giant Rat off, then this would be great. But mostly, I need to get rid of that field spell. If I can get rid of that... Oh, shit! He got Giant Rat! Uh, if I can get rid of that field spell, I could literally change this whole duel. Rikoki, god damn it. Oh, I should have set the other Drill Road. I just thought I wanted to save Drill Road just in case I did get rid of the field spell next turn. Alright, because I want to get rid of that Rui Koki more than anything. That thing's a problem. Alright, there we go. We lose our card. This duel's been pretty intense. We're both down to two cards in hand, but that field spell prevents me from using any of these, which has been problematic. I should have went for the Synchro way earlier on, but you know what? I'll pay the price. I was just happy to have four monsters, not realizing he'd summon three. Enemy controller does make a huge difference. I'm going to go ahead and uh, activate it. We're going to get that monster into defense mode. Thanks to Drillroid, enemy controller is even better than it could be. So let's go ahead. Rurikoki, go in defense. Uh, Drillroid, luckily your effect has nothing to do with being a machine. It just says do it when they're in defense mode. And we're going to go ahead and destroy you. So now I'm very glad I... Uh, well, I guess I would have had Drillroid either way. But that's why I kept one in my hand, just in case there was an emergency. And I got rid of, either got rid of the field spell or drew an enemy controller that I completely forgot about. So, I was happy I got that off, but they have three cards in hand, and obviously there are a lot of powerful zombies in the game, so... I'm not gonna get my hopes up just yet. Oh, you do- you could've just ch You could've chosen Red Eye Zombie Dragon! Why'd you save it? Oh my god, the duel's over. Okay, well... Yep, that's the end of the duel. I... thought Rui- since they didn't special summon Red Eye Zombie Dragon, I assumed Rui Koki was the powerful monster. I was wrong. 
and for being wrong, I'm going to lose. My only chance, I don't think I even have one. Giant Rat, I get, nope, Drillroid. Yes, Giant Rat still, I'll play it in attack mode. Giant Rat might be my only hope. I draw. Mechanical Chaser, doesn't matter. He'll just take Mechanical Chaser. I don't, ah, this sucks. I'm gonna lose this duel, guys. This guy's deck is actually pretty, like, it's half decent, so. Scott, you got me. A, a zombie deck where you started with Zombie World, it, it's literally stopped everything. My biggest misplay was not getting a big monster on the field. Next time, I'll just go for big monster. Even though my biggest monster just, uh, well, level five monster, uh, just ties with the opponent. Chill went even higher. I should have gone for level eight monster. I don't think I have a good level eight monster. It's okay. It's okay. I've learned my lesson this fight. And he, oh, wow. Mystic Tomato Giant Rat's uh, floater support with Pyramid He's got three floaters. And he's got freaking zombies. That's tough. That's tough. They're Earth Zombies, Zombie Zombies, and Dark Zombies. So, yeah. I'm trying to think of any card that would give me even a chance. Because I still have one more turn left in me. I don't think I have Mirror Force. So, what is a card that gives me a chance? If I can think of it, I'll draw it, because I'm very good at that. I got the protagonist powers, but I can't think of a single card. Giant Rat has lost its value. Alright, I draw. It's... Mm, Alright, I guess I have to. It's a little too late for Giant Rat to have value, but it's, it's there. At least I drew it. And sadly, I only own two, so the fact that my opponent has so many monsters now means that this is for nothing. Alright, come at me. I'm ready. Let me see, at least let me look at more of your deck. I'm guessing you're a very monster heavy deck given that you're a zombie deck and zombie monsters all bounce off each other. Guess you're not gonna show me anything else. You're, bo or you're bored of me already. Red Eye Zombie Dragon's gonna take my rat from me. That's a shame. But, no drill roid meant I'm, a, I'm still allowed to activate my effect before they get theirs off, so at least I get a monster out. It's gonna have to be the rat. And then I have to go Hyper Hammerhead. Alright, rats on the field. Mechanical Chaser will probably attack it. I will survive. You get the giant rat in defense mode, realizing I'm stronger. Mechanical Chaser, come and get me. I already know it's you. Mr. T They're not smart enough to crash with Mr. Tomato, even though that's the way better play. 450, okay. I'm out of mom I'm out of rats, sadly. Not like it would matter. Hyper Hammerhead is also just the best option I have right now. It's the only thing that can take the hit. And then now if I draw a Tuner Monster, I still have a chance. A very small chance, but a chance. No trap. Don't don't put down a trap right after all this. Book of Life. Wow, you just have another one. Okay. And Rui Koki's back just to make me feel even more afraid. Okay. Doesn't matter. I just need a monster with 2450 attack and I can beat you. Oh, I need to... Okay, now Heart of the Cards. Oh, shit. There's the trap. Okay. Well, I need to draw a Tuner Monster anyway just to make me feel better. Come on. Let me see if I have those Protag powers still. Heart of the cards, no luck, okay. No luck on that front, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go in. Losing my ability to use my machine monsters due to zombie world was pretty brutal. And we're gonna go ahead and just attack Red Eye Zombie for fun. Let's see if they activate a trap card to stop me, it'd be even funnier. Let me see your traps while we have the chance. All right, there we go. 900 damage, I do not have the life points to take it. Scotch, I don't know who you are, but your Rod and Recycler deck is really good. It's basically the zombie structure deck with a lot more support. They took out the crap and put in more support, which I can respect. So, he was right, he could take out a weakling like me. Next time, I'm gonna save the game before I even fight that guy again. Because I already saved, but um, I'm gonna have to run back and get Nico still, which is gonna be annoying. So let's go get Nico, and then while we're getting Nico, we'll go get, uh... We'll go save again, and then we'll go fight Scotch again, because I think I could beat him. I just need to synchro ahead of time, and it would have been fine. Next time, I'm just going to realize, okay, zombie deck, one weakness. They don't have really... A, a red-eye zombie deck, specifically. They don't have really big monsters. Red-eye zombie's 2400. That's as good as they're going to get. If I could pull off something with better than 2400, then we're ready to go. Honestly, I can just save here, though. That's fine. Saving here is fine. There we go. Now let's go fight Scotch again, and this time I'm gonna go all out. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go for monster advantage because there's no point in having a monster advantage. He could summon like four in one turn. This time I'm gonna go for an attack point advantage. And if I can get above 2400 attack, I'll feel good. Or if I can get shrink, because limited removal has lost value against this character. Unless he doesn't get zombie world on the first turn. Because right now my only spell trap card destruction is a single MST and giant crewmate. 
So I don't got much to work with here. I have negation, but that's for later. So let's see. Left, 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 B down, 208. I did worse this time. He did better. He got uh, a, a milli millisecond better. I don't know. I don't know how much that was. He got a millisecond better. All right, let's just go ahead and see. We got Ancient Gear support, which means if he gets Zombie World again, I'm going to be very... Ooh! Does this count as Tribute Summon if I use Ancient Gear Castle? I don't know. But I'm happy to find out. Um, we're going to go ahead and summon Ancient Gear Soldier in attack mode. And then we're going to go ahead and set this. Because other than Zombie Master, he didn't really show off any zombies that are powerful enough to take us on. Plus, he runs three sets of floaters, so that means that he's more likely going to get Giant Rat. Or one of those cards, which I want them in defense mode for Drill Ward to get rid of them by effect. Started Zombie World. Okay, that is upsetting as hell. But there's nothing I can do about that. Nothing I can do about Zombie World. That's just going to be a problem. So, unless he has Zombie Master, like I said, I have advantage. Good. I want him face down defense mode. That's where my Drill Ward's in complete control of the duel. The more defensive my opponent plays, the better it is for me. Sadly, I do not have a card... To stop traps right now and if i draw my one mst i drew krebon's not a bad card i did say to go for big monster not multiple monster but because i don't want him special summoning i'm gonna go with drill Roy, since i know he runs three floaters plus god said no it would have worked either way so apparently i can't use god against him that's not gonna work uh he okay i got him to pay 2k life points i guess that's the good news and I know zombies have bad defense. Okay, I was right. It was a floater. Drill Roid would have been perfect. Ah! Ah, oh, shit. Okay, next time I'll just start Drill Roid. But I want an ancient gear to, to scare him off a little bit. All right. Well, I could still make sure he doesn't get... Oh, he's probably got Tribute Summon. I could Synchro Summon, though, right? It just says you can't Tribute from your hand, right? That's all it says. Neither player could Tribute Summon monsters except zombie type. That's fine. If they're on the field, they're zombie type monsters. Oh, wait, my Ancient Gear Castle isn't a monster. If I tribute a spell card, that doesn't count. So maybe I could still get Beast on the field, which would actually save me. Unless he just goes for a tribute right now. Motherfucker. Don't hit Castle. Motherfucker. Oh my god. You are the worst type of person. Well, all those ideas are out of the... Yep, they're in the garbage now. We don't need them. Why are you in attack mode? Oh, I lost my, I lost my attack points, so he's going to go after me. Okay. Damn it. I can't believe he drew his MST. I'm basically fighting a structure deck with more support right now. All right, we're going to have to enemy controller just to buy myself more time. Uh, change the battle position, because if I can get a synchro monster out, like I said, um, I should be strong enough to stop the opponent just by having big attack points. Problem is... Uh, what is my synchro for level 6? I don't remember my options there. Ancient Gear, I'm... What? I wish if I had my... If I had my castle, they'd be dead right now. If I had my castle, because I think maybe the castle would have worked since it's not a monster, they would be dead right now. So, Flame Bill Guy does piercing, which might actually have more value to me. Plus, even though he's not stronger right now, he will get stronger. But Gaia guarantees me a strong monster. But he's a warrior, and Rui Koki beats warriors. I have to remember that. I can't, I can't go with Gaia. He's a warrior. Not something I want. Because, look, these are my two things. If he draws... Red Eye Zombie Dragon, I lose the duel. But if he drew Rui Koki, I lose the duel. So I'm, it was a lose lose situation. It's mostly up to luck right now. Because I'm only going to have 2300 attack, which isn't enough. Oh no, 24. Oh, I'm at 24. Okay, now it's fine. Goblin Zombie, get him a Mizuki. That's pretty good. Uh, but either way, if he gets Rui Koki, at least he has to crash with me. He doesn't get the free kill on me. Like he did with, with Gaia. And if he keeps playing defensively, I got him. So, I, I, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Don't, do not play, do not do something I haven't seen yet. Just let me win. I got all my ancient gear cards in hand, and they're all useless due to this. So, let's see. He did get Rukoki. If he crashes, he crashes, and he has Mizuki for later to get it back. Very unlucky for me. Best thing I have in hand is a ancient gear cannon, which is not a good card. Um, let's see what we got. Right now, it's not. Geico, I could remove from play cards from the graveyard. I could remove from play cards from the graveyard. But I lose the card that could beat everything else. I don't like this. Zombie Master, Book of Life. I would be able to get rid of Rui Koki, though. But if he Book of Life or Mizuki's into a, a Red Eye Zombie Dragon, I'm going to wish I had this guy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to crash. 
If I can get his life points low enough, I do have burn cards in this deck, so... Maybe I can go for a desperation strategy against Scotch here. So, here we go. We got rid of the Rurikoki at a very high cost. We lost our monster. While it was buffed. But now we're gonna get rid of Rurikoki. Unless Zombie World has a third effect where it says I can't banish zombies, which... I highly doubt that. So let's go ahead, we need Rurikoki gone, and we need Goblin Zombie gone. Get all the zombies out of the graveyard, we do not want them in there. Alright, good job, Kaiko, you are here to save my day and my car insurance, I appreciate that. So, so far we're okay, best zombie he's summoned so far is Zombie Master, which I can tie with at least. Pyramid Turtle, shit. Does Geico get to remove from play if he crashes? That's a weird... That's a question I have. If he does this, do I get to remove monsters from play? Because he is putting his life points pretty damn low. Geico does, but it's before he hits the grave. I'm about to... I'm about to get in some big trouble. Okay. I am in some trouble right now. Because that's going to be Zombie or Rui Koki again. Either way, I'm in bad... Tr yep. That's the worst thing that could have happened. He got Pyramid Turtle into Zombie Dragon. Okay. Uh, I, I did say I was going to wish I still had my monster, and I do wish I still had my monster. But, his life points are pretty low this time around. And I have some cards that might be able to work with that. There you go, Magic Cylinder. And with Ancient Gear Cannon doing 500 burn, I can win. He can remove from play cards from my grave, I really do not care. Um, well, he would always target the high level monsters, right? Okay, well that's high enough. Not like I'm going to top deck anything to save me right now anyway. Zombie World stops my Ancient Gear Beast and Ancient Gear Golem from doing anything. Are the cards on Magic Cylinder, everybody? If I even own that card. Reinforcements of the Army has its own value. Okay. Let's see what kind of cards I could search with this. Goblin Attack Force for damage. I did say... Actually, let me check the field. How do I, how do I check the field again? L? Okay. Let me, uh... No, how do I check the grave? I forgot what was thrown away this duel. I'm, I'm gonna assume no level 2s were thrown away. Let's just go with goblins. Goblins, I have some damage, and... Uh, but that means I'm giving him damage if I do this. But, I stopped Geico. If I did go for Junk Synchron, was there a level 2? It was Krebons. Krebons would have been good. Yep, I forgot about Krebons. Well, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's just go ahead. It would have been two tuner monsters, but Krebons could have stalled for me a little bit. Let's just go ahead and do this. Put myself in defense mode, which means hopefully that means he won't kill me with Zombie Dragon, but he might <laughs> still kill me with Zombie Dragon. Um, I got his life points pretty low. Magic Cylinder range, which is good, because this guy is horrifying me. And who knows, maybe I'll draw Junk Synchro on next turn and still have the option to stall if I have enough life points left. Mizuki, you know you can beat my goblins, and then you get a direct attack off. You don't need to attack me with Red Eye Zombie Dragon. Please, AI, don't be that smart. Ah, shit. All right, well, that's a big problem. I just took 4k damage. <laughs> Granted, goblins are in defense mode, so if I have any piercing damage monsters, then my, uh... Well, golem is in my hand just like, am I a joke to you? Well, sir, I can't use you. Zombie World, both duels on the first turn. Oh, it is a problem. God, okay, I like this new character, Scotch. At least he's making me think. My current deck is obviously being countered hard by him, which means I can't exactly run a machine deck against him, but it doesn't mean I want to change my whole deck idea just for fucking Scotch, of all people. <laughs> uh, I can leave that goblin there, but then he might tribute it. How many, how many life points do I have left? Enough. I have enough. Alright, I'm going to summon the rat... We're going to use the rat to get rid of the goblins, just to get rid of one tribute. So if he does go for a monster, it'd be Rui Koki off of Mizuki. Mizuki would summon Pyramid Turtle, and then I'd still lose the duel. But I'm going with odds that he doesn't go for all of that nonsense. Let's see what happens. Alright, what will he do instead of that? Zombie Master would also be a very problematic situation, but it should be okay. I got no back row. There's the Zombie Master, okay. Okay, well, things are not getting any better. Uh, there goes that card, which does not master. Oh, he could take goblins. That I did not even think about. Yep, he could take from my grave. Not like I could have stopped that, but I guess I should not have attacked goblins. Either way, he would have got more monsters on the field than me. 
And now he has five monsters, and Giant Rat is not going to save me from that. And with goblins on the field, no matter what I pick, I take too much damage. So, I'm just going to allow this one to kill me. Scott, you win. You win. Your deck, you've been countering me every time. Honestly, I'm going to actually change up my deck for our next duel. Because I need to add more spell trap card destruction. Because Zombie World shuts me down way too hard. And you get it every single time. And I bet you that after I edit my deck, you're not going to get it. It's going to be very upsetting to me. But it's fine. I'd rather... I'd rather have the option to stop you from getting or uh, stop you from using Zombie World. I'll put Regeki Break in. We'll try to we'll try to put something in my deck that can actually pop back row. So here we go. Let's go to our deck edit really quick. Oh, I forgot it's not quick in this game because you have to go all the way out to this menu. Uh, let's go over here. Deck construction and let me check my traps right now. I do already have Regeki Break. So I just ha and dust tornado. I just okay. I actually do have a lot of spell trap. Oh, it's dementia mall. Either way, I do have a lot of spell trap card destruction. I just haven't drawn it, but I guess I need more. So let's go ahead and take out poison of the old man for now. Even though it's basically my ukazi and I like it, uh, we're gonna take it out and we're gonna add another Raigeki break or something like that. Um, shit, Raigeki break is under R, so uh, we're in S. So R is a little bit before that. Right, get break. All right, get in the deck. There, I added one more, and you'll see it'll make the difference. Saving, yada yada. I still don't like that I have to edit my deck just because he keeps getting Zombie World. I wish, but even if he did, I, I I don't know. I don't know why I could have done differently there. He still had me. It's like yeah, I keep the Synchro Monster. Then he decides to crash. He gets Zombie Master. He still does all that. He gets Pyramid Turtle later either way, and then he can still get his other monster. So, it's a lose-lose situation. Don't worry, Nico. We got him this time. I have one more Raigeki break, and this is going to be the one duel where he doesn't get Zombie World. Even though we already saw I had MST, Dust Tornado, Raigeki break, and now two Raigeki breaks, and Giant Trunade. Alright, A down, right, Y, right. Wow, that was my fastest one. I wasn't even paying attention. 290. Okay, he's getting faster. Each time he's getting faster. Let's hope I actually draw some spell trap. There we go. I drew Regeki Bray. That changes the whole duel. All right. That makes me a little bit happier. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set Giant Rat. I know cherries could be better, but screw it. Regeki Bray, get ready. And end my turn. Regeki Bray, you are here for Zombie World. On my turn, not his. All right. When the time comes, let's see if he starts it again. It's going to be the one duel where he, does. he starts Giant Rat instead. It's going to be the one duel where he's super easy just because I added one more spell trap card destruction, isn't it? He's just going to embarrass me, isn't he? All right, well, there we go. Did 50 damage to good old Scotch here. Rotten Recycler is a good deck name for a deck like this. I got to give him credit for that. Uh, trap card, which I'm not, I have ne I have never seen him use a trap against me. Okay, wait, yeah, I have Solemn. He's used Solemn against me. So I'm going to assume that's Solemn. Um, yeah, we're, play we're playing Ham. We're going Ham. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of, uh, because, wait, Nichiri Cherries still has value, Carbon has value. Uh, I'll get more Cherries later. Because I know that has to be Solemn, because that's the only trap he's shown. It's Monster Reborn. I'll, you know what? Screw it. That's a great hit. Uh, we're going to summon Ancient Gear uh, Beast. This card is busted, for those of you that don't know. This card literally can eat my that rat and turn it into nothing. Yeah, so this card, when it destroys the rat will literally make it so the rat does not get its effect. It stops mon it spells, traps, and monster effects, even when they hit the graveyard. Then, while there's no... I know I use my Regeki Ray, but there hasn't been a zombie world. I have limited removal with Ancient Gear Beast, and I feel very confident right now. I will lose said confidence if he plays zombie world right now. But what are the odds he will top deck that? I'm going to say very low. Either way, I feel pretty good about this. Ancient Gear Beast counters all of his floaters. Alright, so far so good. The floaters can be stopped. That card is basically useless. No matter what its effect is, it is basically useless. I draw. Threatening War is a beautiful card. I'm gonna go ahead and summon the freaking Hyper Hammerhead. It doesn't matter that Hyper Hammerhead can bounce back whatever the monster is. We don't want him to get a floater out, so we're gonna go ahead and use you. Ancient Gear Beast will negate anything you can do. It's Mizuki. I can't negate that, because that, that's after the fact. But he has no zombies in the grave right now. Unless he uses Zombie World, so we're fine. If he uses Zombie World, we are not fine. We're going to lose our Ancient Gear Beast, and it will be very sad, and I will get mad. But because I have Hyper Hammerhead, it won't matter. 
and I'm starting to realize that none of this matters. I'm sad that I had to take out Poison of the Old Man. I like to have fun cards in my deck. I like to have, ooh, I happen to draw basically Ukazi. I used to run Ukazi in the last series. You guys loved that. I loved it too. It was a lot of fun. And in Tac Force 6, I have an Ukazi just for fun. And I've won by top decking Ukazi, so, you know, it's worked. Let's see here. Set Book of Life to bring back Mizuki, which could at least destroy my Hyper Hammerhead. He's also using it to remove from play my card, so that's kind of annoying. Let's see if he puts in attack mode. He is putting in an attack mode. Uh, I don't really want to use Threatening Roar this early, but I want to keep Hyper Hammerhead honestly, so I'm going to use Threatening Roar. There we go. We're not going to allow him to destroy my monster. I want to get out a big monster. I'll probably go for uh, that one card that does the piercing damage just because I don't want him to get Rurikoki to kill my other card. I could go for Ancient Gear Golem, which would be very funny, but Ancient Gear Golem does not stop monster effects, so it's not worth it. I'm going to go Krebons. We're going to Special Summon. We're going to go for this guy, Flame Veil or Queezies or whatever its name is. I, can't, I don't know how to pronounce it. There we go. Scott, you've given me a lot of problems today. I don't know why you are so good. Uh, but, because you are so good, I will respect you and defeat you. So let's go ahead, have Uro, whatever his name is, do this. He's going to just destroy this card, and then I'm going to have my other card stop any floaters, because we know he runs nine floaters in his deck. Yep, three giant rats, three mystic tomatoes, and three pyramid turtles. Let's see what this one is. That is not any of them, but that's fine. So I know next turn he can go for a Tribute Summon. He could get Red Eye Zombie Dragon, but that card is useless without Zombie... Well, not useless. It's not a good, that good without Zombie World. He could go for Rui Koki, which is not as scary either. In fact, no matter, as long as he doesn't get Zombie World right now, I win the duel. I, I have game as long as he does not get Zombie World. Alright, so I don't think that card could do a damn thing to me. All it could do is put Mizuki back to the top of the deck. Being in defense mode will not help you against me. I have piercing damage. Return remove for play cards to the top of the deck. Go right ahead. I do not care. Do you go for the tribute? That is the real question. Because without Zombie World, I'm not... Oh, you... Alright. I'm going to just let it pass. Because there's a chance he doesn't get it. He still got it. Okay. Well, there's no Zombie World. I should have still went for limited removal. Ah, I should have just went for limited removal, but I didn't want to kill I didn't want to kill my own monster and then he sets two cards because all he has is floaters. There was a chance all he had would be floaters. But like I said, I he can't steal my monster anymore because there's no zombie world. But I did not get strong enough to the point where I could stop him. And ancient year golem, I wish I guess I wish I would have went for you, not really. I liked having two monsters destroy everything. Ancient year guy, yes, you're fun. Boy, I don't want to summon you in case he does get Zombie World. Let's just let's just see if he goes for the crash. If he goes for the crash, I'll live with it. I'm kind of curious to see if he will. If he goes defensively, I can beat him that way. Like if he puts down another monster. But I don't know if the AI is that bad. He's thinking a long time. Okay, the AI's thinking a little too much here. Good, good. He, okay, unless he crashes right now, he's giving me a victory. So, good news is, I can go ahead and draw Geico. That's a good card. Uh, not good enough to stop the current situation, but a good card in general. So, we can go ahead and destroy that opponent's monster, making us stronger than Zombie Dragon. And now, for the first time in this entire let's well, this entire episode, not only is my opponent really low on life points, he's below half, but I have, I have a monster on the field that can beat every monster in his deck, except he hasn't shown me his extra deck yet. He hasn't shown me his extra deck yet. That's a problem. I didn't think about that until right now, but it's a problem. Mizuki summons a monster. Does he run a tuner card that I don't know about? Alright, so you get that card back, and then it's the infinite loop where you put Mizuki back to the top of your deck. Speaking of which, didn't you just draw Mizuki last turn? Which meant you had a lower chance of getting a level 7 monster or a Rurikoki. Or Red Eyes or a Rurikoki, basically. But he still got it, so unlucky for me. I need to get rid of that Red Eyes no matter what. That card has to die. Once I get rid of Red Eyes, I'll feel safe. Now that's a problem. <laughs> that card is scarier than anything that he has right now. Because I have no idea what it would be at this point. Now, Ancient Gear Castle gives me a late game win condition in case things go bad. So that was a hell of a top deck. 
just in case that card is some sort of mirror force. I have Ancient Gear Soldier, which is guaranteed to get through. God says no. He just paid 2k for that. He, I could win the duel right now, couldn't I? Hold up. 27 minus 8. That's 1900 damage, right? I win the duel. Alright, thanks to God, I have won. I don't know why I had so much draw. I know why. This guy's deck was actually half decent. And I'm still working with what I'm working with, which I think my deck's half decent has half decent too. But because of he didn't get Zombie World, by the way. The one duel where I was like, okay, fine, I have to plan around Zombie World. He's gotten it every time. And then this duel he doesn't get in, I just beat him, no problem. I have almost ha all my life points. Alright, well that's funny. I end up beating Scotch because he accidentally doesn't get it. No way, losing really takes it out of me. Get out of here. I don't even want to see your face anymore. Why don't you get out of here? I want to go to the shop. Now, I did not make any money today, so we're not going to be buying any packs today. But I'm going to feel proud that I was able to beat that guy because that guy was clearly pretty damn good. So I will see you all in the next episode. I want to thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. And, you know, we can all laugh together that the one duel I won was preparing for Zombie World, and yet he did not get Zombie World. Welcome to my life. <laughs> Bye, guys.